Good afternoon, everybody. This is our first video update of Tropical Storm Fred. Yes, a new tropical storm has formed. We've been sort of watching it over the last few days, and it has formed now west of Puerto Rico, sort of just south of the Dominican Republic. You can see it on the screen here, this swirling mass of clouds here in the center of your screen is Tropical Storm Fred. Now, real quick, I do want you to notice that very much like with Elsa, I know it's been a weird name year for uh, Tropical Storm. We get Elsa and now Fred. Fred is just such a basic name that you don't expect to hear it coming from a tropical system, but here we are. If you'll notice, if you remember from Elsa, they had an issue where it was moving so quickly that the low level of the storm was outrunning the top half of the storm and it tilted the system and if you look at Fred here you can see that a little bit out of the head of this clouds that's the low level circulation but all the rain and the massive clouds in the upper atmosphere are lagging behind to the south and west now much like Elsa as you can see on the banner on your screen real quick do you like the banner just came up with the idea today kind of Put it together you're trying to test it out if there's stuff you like about the banner let me know if there's something you would like me to change let me know i'm all ears but you jump over to the national hurricane center and the banner you see on your screen fred is moving at 16 miles per hour very very quickly not as quickly as elsa elsa was a whole nother system moving 30 miles an hour but 16 is still very fast for a tropical system to the west northwest so sort of tracking right across the dominican republic and as you can see location wise it's about 24 miles to the southeast of santo domingo of the dominican republic and about 850 miles to the southeast of miami you can see that here uh, miami being here santo domingo being basically right under uh, where it has fred being now the current winds 45 miles per hour at the moment, a very weak tropical storm, and it should stay that way, and I'll explain why in a few moments. Uh, gusting higher at about 60. The gusts are actually uh, pretty fairly strong from this system. I'm surprised they're gusting uh, that powerful in this system, but that should get knocked down a few notches here uh, as we go forward in time. Now, the central pressure is still pretty high, uh, 1,006 millibars. Uh, about 1013, so 1013 millibars, the regular sea surface pressure. Uh, so 1006 isn't exceptionally low. Uh, it's it's low pressure for sure, uh, but it's not. It it shows a weaker system, which makes sense. Unlike Elsa, which is showing a higher pressure and stronger wind, uh, which really didn't make sense to me. It was such a weird system. But this much more in line, higher pressure, weaker system. So now let's jump right into the path i know it's what you're all here for it's what you want to see right so <clears throat> if we jump over to the cone we see fred is expected to move over the making republic in haiti uh and this is a good thing for us because the mountainous ter terrain of these islands and the extensive time spent over land will weaken the system and ultimately excuse me <clears throat> haven't had enough water today apparently it will ultimately tear the system apart, uh, weaken it down, as you see here, this D, weaken it to a tropical depression. Again, it's already not a powerful tropical storm at the moment, so any bit of weakening is going to send it back down to depression level. Uh, before moving off north, excuse me, northwest towards Cuba, it might skirt between Cuba and the Bahamas, could go over one of them. It's a little too early to tell right now. Uh, but the more land interaction it has, very similar to Elsa, the more land interaction it has, if it takes a more southerly track through here, that's a weaker system for us, right? There's more mountains here in the southern end of Cuba, will further weaken the system. Now, if it goes more to the north, that's a stronger system, right? More time spent over water, warm water, uh, is more fuel for these systems to develop. Now, uh, right now, the path is kind of similar to Elsa's as well. Not as strong of a bend back to the north, right? And I'll show why in a minute. But 
uh, sort of coming up between Cuba and Florida and then curving to the north right now anywhere between almost New Orleans and Jacksonville. I mean, it's a wide swath, but that's because we're still almost seven days away, five days away. Plenty of time for this system to evolve, although it is moving rather quickly. Uh, but it does look like it's forecasted to slow down, which uh, could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on which path it takes. Now, if we jump over to the modeling, you see the GFS model here, the American model. This is Fred, this little mass of cluster of cells down here. That is Fred. Now, as you can see, it's not really showing up uh, on here. As a, Usually there's an L denoted there for low pressure. That's because this system is weaker. If we go forward in time, you'll see uh, it doesn't get any better for Fred. This has it taking more of the southerly route and falling apart, as you see. Uh, like the like the National Hurricane Center predicted, the mountains are expected to tear the system apart as it moves, almost completely dissipated according to this. Uh, there's really not much of a system left there, but as it moves back over the water, you see a slight uh, attempt at reintensification there back into a system. As it moves a little over the, it's, it's, I know it's very hard to tell here, but it's sitting right about here and it's sort of moved, skirting the north coast of Cuba, might slightly be on the coast of Cuba, hence why uh, the GFS doesn't have strengthening very much over this amount of time. As we keep going forward, you'll see, we're, just look for this little bulge right here. That is where we're looking uh, at where Fred is at this point in time. So this is for Friday now. As we go into through for, throughout Friday, you see it start to re-intensify here on the northern coast of Cuba, right? You see this the rain coming back and strengthening because it's more over the water now so it's gathering that fuel and strengthening now if we move into saturday you'll see it start to develop again off this northern coast and this is when it will begin to make its northerly turn actually this has it sort of this is what can happen with these weaker systems is what will happen is you'll think the center is here but because it's so disorganized that center can dissipate and a new center can form as it does here back off to uh, the east and it's, it's not uncommon in these weaker systems you'll see low level centers form fall apart a new one will form over here and then the dominant one will take over and that's where the system will re sort of organize around so as we go forward past here see it here we go it jumps again right Un this is why this system is so unpredictable right now because wherever that final low level center sets up uh, once it gets north of Cuba will tell a lot in terms of where this system is going. Another factor that I want to point out very quickly, very, very quickly, is you see these lines coming down here? These are pressure lines, right? They tell us the pressure. You see 1018, 1020. That's high pressure. That's very strong, high pressure that's sitting over the Atlantic. And if you remember with ELSA, it helped steer ELSA the way it did onto the west coast and then up because that high pressure sort of moved away, right, and gave ELSA a path to turn. Here, uh, we're looking more at a, there, there's a multitude of, of facets here with this. Um, let me back up here. This is a, here, there's that main high pressure sitting over the Atlantic. There's also a secondary one that's going to be sitting I don't want to change the view here because this is the best view we can really get uh, given the model's positioning at the moment. But uh, north of Florida in the Georgia and Carolina, there's another sort of area of higher pressure that should also help steer this thing, in my opinion, farther to the west. Uh, but again, there's five days in between now and then. A lot, a lot, a lot can change. So I just wanted to point that out that the high pressure also has a lot the same where this goes. But as we can see, we were here starts to make that northerly turn it kind of falls apart again and then reforms taking a very similar path to what elsa did up the coast initially initially before that high pressure again really kicks in uh and starts to drive this thing you see this 1016 and then you have the 1010 here right it's going to want to follow the lower pressure area the pressure of least resistance so if you look at the, the map here 
the closer the these black lines are together the think of the stronger the pressure gradient so it does it wants to go away from that strong pressure gradient but out here the pressure gradient's nowhere near as strong so that's good so it's going to start to push off that way right so it starts to come uh, this has the rain sort of being focused uh, more to the northeasterly side that's quite possible it seems like that's that's the mode a lot of these systems want to take early in the season uh, and then you see it move to the north and then drift west and sort of just meander up this has it taking it into the western part of the of the peninsula not the peninsula the panhandle uh closer to alabama again it's very 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 early in advance and if you notice down here this is a system that's lingering behind uh is currently under evaluation from the National Hurricane Center. Right, let's go back and check the probabilities on that one, because I know you guys would be curious about that. That is this little area back here, which has a 50% chance of formation, actually, uh, through the next five days. So there's a chance we could get a secondary system that comes out of this uh, that follows Fred. And you can see that down here, taking it almost a very similar path. Um, more southerly however and then again getting ripped apart moving let's see if it reforms does not look like it does so it looks like the models aren't too high on that but again this that's very 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 far out in time at this point now i know you're going to want to know i'm not going to take the time to show you guys the european model it's so far out i don't want to sort of the models are so inconsistent right now with this thing because it all depends on again where that low level center really sets up uh, once it passes Cuba. And so once it gets to that point, we should start to be able to get a better idea of what's going to happen with this. But at this point, I just want to give a general overview of what's going to happen, potentially, potentially what's going to happen. And note, green lights, remember our color coding system, a low chance of impacts here at the moment could get a few isolated gusty showers and bands uh, if it takes that path through the panhandle. Not looking at a lot of wind, not looking at any storm surge. Maybe a very marginal tornado threat depending on how close this comes. The closer this comes, obviously that tornado threat goes up. But if you'll remember with Elsa, we did have some sizable tornadoes that came through the area with Elsa. Um, a very large tornado for, by Jacksonville standards actually uh, sort of came up through St. John's County and the Duval County, and then rode straight north and ended up putting out another tornado in Georgia as well that took part of submarine base. Two very strong tornadoes. I believe we have two, uh, each of them. And so, but that de that's very dependent on where this system goes. The farther west it goes, the lesser that chance is. However, it is still a chance. Now, again, this is all very preliminary stuff. Fred, as you can see, is still very far. Remember, it's 800 miles from Miami. That's a very long distance, so a lot can change between now and then. Forecasts to fall apart over the next 24 to 48 hours. Reforming uh, once it gets north of Cuba, potentially. And they have it making landfall. Let me go back and show this. Uh, the official path of this, like I said, with the comb, has it being a... Fairly strong tropical storm, 60, 65 mile per hour tropical storm. Again, so far out in advance that you cannot lock that in. Uh, I would wager maybe potentially a little bit weaker than that, but with the way these systems sort of can strengthen very quickly if they get over open water, um, especially if this thing takes more of a western, the more westerly track this thing takes once it gets north of Cuba, the stronger it'll be because it limits its land interaction that way. And so that's very contingent on a more westerly track happening, in my opinion. However, that is what the outlook looks like at the moment. Again, we're very, 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 very far out in advance. Um, but I'll be putting out daily updates just to sort of update as this goes. But for now... I cannot lock in any impacts or lack of impacts. Can't lock in a potential, really a potential path to this thing yet because, like I said, once it falls apart, it can really do just about anything other than, you know, curve out here. It could go more here, could go more not not here. I don't know what I'm doing up here for. It, basically, the only option that's not an option is curving out back over the Atlantic. 
the high pressure just won't allow for that. I think the real question ends up becoming how far west does this system get pushed, <clears throat> pushed, and what is the timing and how strong does it get once it starts to push to the west. But right now, that's all I really have to update you guys on now. Just stay tuned to the news. I'm sure they'll be covering this extensively. I'll be covering this again daily. So just my social medias are on the banner. Follow me on there. I'll be putting updates on there as well. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their day.